What's up, everybody? Today is October 6th of 2023. In today's video, we're going to talk about the passing of pro football Hall of Famer Dick Butkus, a man who not only played the linebacker position, but helped to define the rough and tough image of the classic middle linebacker in the NFL. On this channel, I focus on the synchronicity of events such as this and how it is evident through numerology, particularly the language of gematria, a mystical practice which reveals the deeper, interconnected side of reality that few people are truly aware of, as this type of knowledge tends to be sequestered behind the locked doors of various secret societies and organizations around the world. For instance, Butkus reportedly died at the age of 80, and in this standard alphabetic order, the word linebacker has a sum of 80. But you don't always need numbers to see these coincidences. Consider how Butkus died on Thursday, October 5th, which just so happened to be the date of the first primetime Bears game of the season. The Bears, the team that Dick Butkus played his entire career for. Additionally, he was also born in Chicago, Illinois, and played his college football for Illinois. So this man is Chicago through and through. Now, not only did he die on the date of the first Bears primetime game, but in fact, this was the first time the Bears had won since their last primetime game back in October of last year against New England. The date October 5th also stood out because Chicago was home to Herb Kent, who was added to the Guinness Book of World Records for having the longest career as a radio host. And Herb Kent was born on October 5th. Now, we know there's a deeper connection here, because while this uh, Herbert, we have Herbert was the name of this DJ, Chicago's leading rusher in last night's game was named Khalil Herbert, and their leading receiver was named DJ Moore, whose whopping 230 yards was a career high. In the same alphabetic ordinal cipher, the name DJ Moore also equals 80, just like linebacker. Meanwhile, Khalil Herbert, whose last name is identical to Herb Kent's first name, the name Khalil Herbert sums to 129. Dick Butkus was born on December 9th, the date written 12-9. In the reverse alphabetic order, where the alphabet is simply flipped around so that Z is 1, Y is 2, X is 3, all the way through A is 26, the name Khalil Herbert has a gematria value of 222. Well, if you measure from the date that he was born, April 21st of 1998, to the date Dick Butkus was born, you find they were born 20,222 days apart. Chicago radio host Herb Kent died at the age of 88. And this was just about one week before the Chicago Cubs won the World Series that year. And the number 88 is significant to radio. Think about how radio equals 88. But 88 is a number that's historically been very significant to the city of Chicago. And without getting too sidetracked, think about the movie Back to the Future from 1985. 1985, the same year that the Cubs or the uh, Chicago Bears won their only Super Bowl. Of course, it was in 1986, but it was the 1985 season. And in this movie, it's predicted that the Cubs win the World Series in 2015, which is just one year off of when they actually did, which was in 2016. Well, in this film, time travel is accomplished when they reach 88 miles per hour. 
A number relevant to Wrigley Field, where the Cubs play as friendly confines, sums to 88 in Gematria. Now, the current head coach of the Chicago Bears is Matt Eberflus. And notice how Eberflus has this value of 88 as well. Dick Butkus's real full name was Richard Marvin Butkus. And not only does this sum to 88 in the reduction or Pythagorean cipher of Gematria, where every double-digit number is reduced to a single digit. But the name Richard Butkus also sums to 88 in reverse reduction. And he died at the age of 80. And the number 80 also equals 88. Now, the Bears were founded by a man named George Hallis. And George Hallis, curiously, also died at the age of 88. And we'll talk more about him in a little bit. The 88th prime number is 457. And last night's Bears game was their 1,457th of the regular season. So a number that represents 88. Also significant to this game. So all of this is very interesting, but there's so much more that we'll cover. Now, my regular viewers know that in every video, I claim that the most significant cipher in Gematria is this Latin or Agrippa's key method, as it's really the only one I observe that's not based in the present day alphabetic order. And once again, this seems to be the case here in this story. Last night, the Chicago Bears got their 787th franchise victory in the regular season of all time. Well, 787 is the gematria of the name Richard Butkus. So on the same day that he dies, the Bears get their 787th win. More commonly, though, he was known as Dick Butkus. And Dick Butkus equals 628. Well, would you believe the Bears also have a total of 628 losses in franchise history? The team they defeated last night for their first win of the year, the Washington Commanders, if they had won the game, they would have gotten their 628th victory in franchise history. So when people talk about the NFL being scripted, who can deny that there is something going on with the numbers of these games. Now, another thing worth noting is that the name Dick Butkus has a gematria value of 240. This method simply uses capital letters mixed in with small letters, still maintaining the alphabetic order. And Dick Butkus equals 240. And he was born in the year 42. Well, how interesting that the Chicago Bears beat the Commanders, which equals 42, by a surprising score of 40 to 20. This means there were a total of 60 points scored in last night's game. Now, we'll talk a little bit about how this syncs up with George Hallis, who was known as Papa Bear. Papa Bear equals 60. But Dick Butkus' full name, Richard Marvin Butkus, also sums to the 60th prime number in the reverse alphabetic order. So it appears to have been scripted ahead of time before the game and the game itself, also reflecting important numbers. Now, although uh, Dick Butkus did not win a Super Bowl with the Bears, the franchise did win one Super Bowl that ended the 1985 season. If you measure from the birthday of Dick Butkus to the birthday of DJ Moore, who had the best game of his career last night, 230 yards and three touchdowns. Notice how these men were born 19,850 days apart, reflecting that 1985. So let's talk about the number 
164. The founder and longtime owner of the Chicago Bears, George Hallis, his nickname was Mr. Everything, which sums to 164 in ordinal. And when Mr. Everything passed away, he was 1,064 months old. The phrase week five equals 1,640, and Butkus died on the first day of week five in the NFL. This is also a number connected to Herb Kent. The name Herb Kent equals 164 with capital letters. And he was a radio legend. Radio equals 164 in standard. This brings us to the man who led the Bears to their only Super Bowl championship, Mike Ditka, whose name is almost as funny as Dick Butkus. The name Mike Ditka also sums to 164. And if you measure from the birthday of Mike Ditka to Dick Butkus, they were born exactly 164 weeks apart. This is also 1,149 days, and Dick Butkus equals 149 in reverse. So why is Mike Ditka so significant to the city of Chicago, numerologically? Well, before I get there, I want to point out Mike Ditka's full name gematria using the English standard cipher. The name Michael Keller Ditka has a gematria value of 510. Think about this on the calendar, the 5th of October, which was the date that Dick Butkus died. Measuring from the date that the Chicago Bears were officially established all the way back in 1920, just before their first season in the NFL. Mike Ditka was born a span of 4,031 days later. Now in numerology, zeros are often ignored. So here we have the digits 431. This is a significant prime number divisible only by one and itself, the 83rd prime number. Not only does the Chicago Bears equal 83, Bears founder George Hallis died in the year 83, but the name Mike Ditka in the alphabetic order equals 83. So does the word football. The Chicago Bears are currently coached by Matthew Eberflus, whose name equals 83. And in Latin, Linebacker Dick Butkus equals 803. Well, Dick Butkus' birthday falls 83 days after the founding of the Bears on September 17th. And when Dick, Dick Butkus died, he was 80 years and 300 days old. Back in August, I made this post on the death of DJ Casper, who wrote the Cha-Cha Slide. DJ Casper was from Chicago, and his real name was William Perry. And remember, on the Super Bowl championship Bears, there was a man named William the Refrigerator Perry. So this was all synced up to Chicago and the Bears. Well, notice how Dick Butkus died eight weeks and three days after DJ Casper. DJ. Again, all of this connected to famous radio DJ, Herb Kent, DJ Moore with a breakout game on the same day. The word murder sums to 83. And notice how Dick Butkus died 83 months after the Chicago Cubs won the World Series, also 83 months after Herb Kent died. Meanwhile, Mike Ditka, whose name equals 83, is currently 83 years old. Dick Butkus died 353 days after Mike Ditka's birthday. That stood out because Dick Butkus was born three years and 53 days after Mike Ditka. On the date that Butkus died, the Bears beat the Washington Commanders, which equals 353. This is another prime number. The 71st prime. 
and notice how both Chicago Bears and Bears equals 71. There was a significant 666 riddle in last night's football game. And we start with the Washington Commanders, who played their 1,332nd game in franchise history last night, including the postseason. 1332. Well, this is always an interesting number because 1332 is the first multiple of 666. When Dick Butkus died yesterday, he was 999 lunar phases old. And down in the description below, you'll find a PDF file which explains how the number 666 is so significant to the sun, the moon, and this code of eclipses. Butkus also died 1966 weeks after the Bears' only Super Bowl victory. And of course, the digit 9 is an upside-down 6. In the King James Bible, 666 is revealed as the number of the beast in Revelation 13.18. Well, measuring from the Bears' founding date to the death of Dick Butkus gives us 103 years and 18 days, just like 13.18. Furthermore, Butkus died 2,083 weeks after George Hallis, and 2,083 is the Latin gematria of 666. Butkus also died 46,996 days after Hallis was born, so another 666 upside down. But what also stood out is this 2,083. The number 2,083 is the 314th prime number. This is a number connected to pi. 314, the first three digits. And in Gematria, the name George Hallis equals 314. Six, 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 the number of the beast. And notice how beast sums to 88, which is a number that we focused on strongly earlier in this video, but before I sign off, I want to quickly talk about this code of eclipses, as this seems relevant too. Now, when Mike Ditka led the Bears to their only Super Bowl championship, he was 46 years old. And that Super Bowl was won with a total of 46 points. And it's so interesting because this was the year that the Chicago Bears made the 4-6 defense popular. And in the alphabetic order, Chicago equals 46. With prime numbers, Mike Ditka's full name equals 460. We are currently in this period of time connected to the, uh, or between the two great American total solar eclipses. One in 2017 and one in 2024. Butkus died 46 days after the anniversary of the first eclipse, connecting to Chicago. But his death also fell a span of 187 days before the second eclipse, and the name Butkus has matching 187 gematria with total eclipse. 187 recognized by many hip-hop fans as the homicide code. The 187th prime number is 1117. And this is important because the prime factors of 187 are 11 times 17, right? Well, current Bears head coach Mike, or Matt Eberflus, was born 11,170 days after Mike Ditka. The name Mike Ditka equals 498, and Matt Eberflus was born 49 years and 8 months exactly after the Bears were established. He was also born 159 days or 160 after Dick Butkus' birthday. These numbers both found in the gematria of Mike Ditka's name. 
Mike, or I'm sorry, Dick Butkus would have been 121 days after his birthday for this great American eclipse that he died in connection to. And the name Dick Butkus sums to 121 in ordinal. Butkus was born one month and 21 days after Mike Ditka's birthday. The phrase blood sacrifice equals 121. And current Bears head coach Matt Eberflus was born 10,021 days after Dick Butkus. So a lot of sinks here, but really the most powerful one is that he died on the date that Herb Kent was born, October 5th, a famous DJ. And then the Bears have the, the running back named Herbert, the wide receiver named DJ, also all connected to the death of DJ Casper, a Chicago native who shared a name, William Perry, with the refrigerator who won a Super Bowl for the Bears. So hopefully this is enough to show you guys that something very, very bizarre is going on in our reality. And it's all playing out by this numerical code that we have the power to observe and share with others. All right, everyone, that'll do it. Peace, love, God bless. If you'd like more information, please check the description below where I talk about the Green Bay Packers getting their 787th win over the Chicago Bears, passing Chicago in the process. But yeah, more in the description below. That'll do it for this one. We'll talk to you next time. See ya.